Welcome to the final episode of the Mullet Mustang presented by Turn 14 Distribution. Speaking of Turn 14, we are headed to Philadelphia for their first ever open house and car show. It's time to jump in the mullet for a seven hour road trip. got Sunoco gas stations here. We used to have those in Canada, but we don't anymore. Thankfully, we've got the 93 octane 
And at three bucks a gallon, that seems pretty cheaper than uh, back home of what we're paying, which is about what, DP? Uh, a buck 30-ish 30 30, yeah, for 94 for octane, or, so we're, we're close. It's like 20%, 30% cheaper. But the whole experience at the gas station with the American pumps is, look at this. I'm used to just sitting here pumping away, but we've got the lock. There it is. Oh, so fancy. How amazing. In Ontario, we don't have that. I don't know why. We used to have it, but then they took it away because apparently, I'm sure it's a fire hazard or something ridiculous. And a lot of the other gas stations don't seem to have a problem with that all over the country. So we want to make Ontario great again and bring back the lock. Hashtag make Ontario great again. On the road again Just can't wait to get on the road again We made it! Welcome to Turn 14's brand new warehouse. If you want some more information on that or on Turn 14 in general, be sure to check out our tour video of their corporate headquarters in this massive new warehouse of theirs. The car show is going on in their parking lot, so I think it's time for me and PT to cruise around here, pick out some of our favorite cars, share them with you guys. I don't know if you can even hear me, but we're at the Can I Beat booth. Do you guys know what Can I Beat even means? Let us know in the comments. This TSX all muguined out, JDM Accord stuff on here. Pretty sweet, check it out. During our factory tour video, we were ripping on Daryl, the marketing manager here, a little bit about being a BMW guy, but the truth is he's an OG Rotary fan too. This is his sweet FB. It is minty, minty fresh. Just cruising the parking lot here and we popped by the Ravspec booth and they had some sweet Volk racing swag on sale. So I got me this hat. Couldn't resist. I'm already spending PT's money. Making it look good. I never thought I would see a Porsche air-cooled at 930. I think it's a 930. It might be a, a narrow body 911 that's been converted to wide body. But uh, the big thing is the engine. And I know some people are always like, oh, LS swap, blasphemous. But uh, I don't know. What, what do you think, Dave? This one here oh, is, I love this. It's kind of next level. Oh, yeah. And uh, makes me think, man, I would love to have a K-Series in my turbo. Because, oh, how cool is that? Like, absolutely amazing. This car is a work of art. So let's have a quick peek at it. That actually goes to the funk, the intercoolers. I don't know about you guys, but there's just something really sweet about a, a lowered ND Miata. They just look so good. I mean, and this thing is beautiful. It's got all these sweet carbon bits on it. Ride seats inside. Molto bene. Of course, we had to stop by the Mackin booth because they have some of our favorite wheels and new ones too. These are the uh, Advan RSDFs in a bronze finish. I am really digging them. They're forged and uh, man, I'm not gonna lie, if I hadn't ordered a set of some other wheels for my 240 for our upcoming 240SX project, I think I'd be rocking those. But I'll let you guess out of these wheels, which ones will end up on the 240. Post mm. in the comments below what you think I should be running, even though I'm already, I may have them. The guys at Turn 14 love their gutted track prepped Hondas like this one. This is Kyle, one of the editors at Front Street Media's car. I can't go wrong with a gutted EF. A couple cool ones over there too. We'll wrap up our quick tour of the Turn 14 car show here in Mustang Alley. We've attracted a couple of friends. Well, it's looking pretty good here, although I gotta admit there is a ton of cool cars here. Not sure we're gonna be show winners. By the way, if you wanna see a ton of more photos, it's such a big show, we really can't cover it all, but jump over to our website, speed.academy. We're gonna post a ton of photos on there. Pete's gonna bang a bunch up on Instagram. I might throw a few up on our Facebook feed. I think that's uh, pretty much it, Pete. What do you say we hop in the old mullet and start get on out of here? Cruise back to the TO. I guess that is a wrap for this episode and a 
finale for the mullet Mustang. That's it. We are done. And it's been a lot of fun. And we, uh, we came down here really to thank Turn 14 for being the, the Such a good sponsor, sponsor yeah, on this helping build. us out with a lot of parts and whatnot. Yeah, they're fantastic work. Behind work the with. scenes, they help out quite a bit on this build. They do. And a lot of the other builds too, they actually. Do. They're huge supporters of ours. And uh, in fact, we're stepping that up a bit more by uh, opening up an e-store where we'll be able to sell you guys parts from Turn That's 14. right. And, and uh, really the reason we did that is because we get a ton of requests from you guys to like how do we buy parts from Turn 14 or just how do we buy parts in general that we use on our project cars. And uh, we figured, you know what? We're a small business here. We need to find multiple streams of income to keep afloat, to keep doing <laughs> what we love to do. And Producing two videos a week is a uh, tough business for us. It is, it is. So if you like what we do and you want to support us, this is now another way that you can do that. You know, we've got our, our Patreon option, we've got our swag option yeah and, and now if you want some cool fast parts and uh you can go to speedacademy.shop that's correct and you can see all the good stuff we have there our, we haven't populated the site with a ton of product our plan is really to kind of to be a, a boutique site you can go there and we have a, a request form where you can literally request a part if it's not on the site and uh our buddy Dano, who's running the site for us, will find those parts for you. Yeah, get you rest price. assured that the customer service on the shop will be top notch. So it will be. We're here to cater to you guys and kind of thank you for supporting us in that sense. Yeah, absolutely. It'll be top notch and we'll be as competitive on prices as we possibly can. And a big part of that competitiveness will come from the fact that we're sourcing parts from Turn 14 who have a competitive advantage themselves by stocking everything in sight. And buying in, in bulk so uh, we should be able to be quite competitive on price I think and uh, in the process you'll be getting a good deal and supporting what we do. Am I going the right way PT? Alright. <laughs> Alright, I'm rolling. <laughs>